Hi, I'm John from Hummingbird Networks, and today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Adtran Blue Socket 3045 wireless access point. You might not be as familiar with this brand, but let me tell you that Adtran has been around for 30 years, providing carrier class products to companies all over the world. In fact, a good percentage of all internet traffic travels over devices made by Adtran, but these devices are often humming away in data centers or data closets away from the public eye. Let's go ahead and open this up. Take our knife, open her up. Let's see what this 3045 looks like on the inside. Um, right away we have our blue socket quick start guide. It's right here. We'll put that off just to the side right there. Let's move the box over and unbox the actual access point itself in nice solid foam because this guy's got some weight to it. Um, it's nicely packaged. Definitely packaged for transport to be transported safely. It's even got a nice plastic film over the top um, to protect the, the face of it, which is nice. I'll pull that off. And um, right now you could see, just without going into anything else, you could really see the difference between their model that has the internal antennas and the external antennas. These. Uh, these adapters right here is where you're going to, these connectors I should say, is where you're going to put in your external antennas. And I'll show you what those are um, in just a little bit. You can add different antennas, but Adtran sells a set of antennas that you can purchase from them. Or if you wanted more specific um, uh, application, there's all types of antennas that you can buy for your access point. You can use those on this access point here. So here's your antennas. As you can see right here, there's uh, there's 2.4 gigahertz, there's a 5 gigahertz, and it's labeled right here where you'd put which specific antenna, because the antennas are a little different. Um, you have your Adtran Blue Socket logo, of course. Um, it almost looks like a speaker, but this is like for airflow, because there is a lot of components inside this thing. There's plenty of antennas, there's plenty of electronics, so you need to get that airflow moving in there. Um, Got your power button, your Wi-Fi that's on, you got your two Ethernet ports, your two radios, and then uh, this other light, which we're going to figure out what that's for. I don't know what that's for. It's probably for one of their other radios, your intrusion detection radio, or maybe their Bluetooth radio, but we're going to find that out. So here's the front of it. You can see it's nice and shiny, completely different than um, their other Adtran APs, uh, which are have a dull face paint, like a, like a matte finish. This one has a... Uh, very much a shiny finish and it definitely got some weight to it so um, I'm going to turn it around so we can look at the back on the back here uh, nice and solid this is where you would hook up your um, your ceiling mount or wall mount we're going to talk about that and then I'll show you that and then here are your interfaces right there um, and we're going to go over these in a little bit more detail um, but here's your power interface. Um, you get your 2.5 gigabit, multi gigabit um, LAN port, your one gigabit LAN port, console port, um, your USB port, and then there's a reset button in the back there if you needed to reset it. But uh, that's pretty much it. That's what you get in the box with the, with the access point itself. I'm going to put this on the side. So that's the access point itself. Let's look at the other parts of the box and I could show you very well packaged, very well thought out. The mount that you're going to use to put it on the ceiling. There's a whole bunch of different ways you can mount this. That's all explained in the uh, quick start guide. The other thing I want to show you inside the box is going to be the other pieces that help you mount it, which are these black plastic pieces. So you're going to need those to mount it. And then one thing I really want to kind of point out because this, this definitely has some weight to it, this access point. It's not like the 802.11N radios where they're kind of light and airy. This thing is definitely packing a lot of stuff inside of it. So you can see that they gave you um, some pretty heavy duty um, 
mounts for the wall, for the ceiling. Uh, so these, these are definitely going to stay in there and definitely keep that AP up on the wall or in the ceiling. So I wanted to point those out to you. Those are definitely uh, heavy duty mounts. But that is the contents of the box right here. The Blue Socket 3045 is Adtran's brand new 802.11 AC Wave 2 4x4 MooMimo indoor access point with multi gigabit Ethernet, which supports both general use and high density deployments. This unit takes external antennas, which are sold separately. It's also backward compatible with devices that still use ABGN and 11AC Wave 1. So if you're looking for an access point with internal antennas, please see the Blue Socket 3040. We have created a different video for that one. This AP offers carrier grade performance with four built-in radios, including concurrent 2.4 and 5 gigahertz radios, providing data rates up to 800 megabits per second on the 2.4 gigahertz radio, and 1.733 gigabits per second on the 5 gigahertz radio, for a total of 2.5 gigabits per second. A dedicated dual band scanning and security radio used for dynamic RF, which is Adtran's radio resource management technology and wireless intrusion detection. And it includes an integrated Bluetooth low energy radio. These radios support increased transmit and receive sensitivity over previous generations to compensate for low power mobile devices, which is ideal for BYOD environments. This is crucial now with the average person carrying two to three devices on them at a time these days. They include 8RP SMA connectors for external antennas. Please note that you may use many different types of antennas for your specific application and they're also sold separately. I would like to also point out there are two additional internal high efficiency omnidirectional antennas, one for the scanning and security radio and one for the Bluetooth low energy radio. The addition of the dedicated scanning and security radio and integrated Bluetooth low energy radio is new to the Adran BlueSocket AP line. Having a dedicated scanning and security radio ensures client servicing radios do not waste any precious airtime performing off-channel background scanning for radio resource management and wireless intrusion detection. Radio resource management is the technology that's used by the AP to scan the environment for sources of interference and automatically configure channel and power settings. Wireless intrusion detection is the technology that's used by the AP to scan the environment for rogue access points and other over-the-air attacks. Without a dedicated scanning and security radio, this scanning is typically performed by the client servicing radios in a time-sliced manner, switching between servicing clients and scanning, resulting in a reduced performance. In addition, given you may be servicing clients and not scanning at a time of an attack, that also may result in missed security events. Speaking of attacks, this AP also includes a stateful firewall for the highest security at the AP. Also, these APs feature context-aware access control with Layer 7 device fingerprinting, which allows you to define security policies based on user credentials, device type, location, schedule, and more. This access point also supports dynamic steering. This is Adtran's brand new client steering, load balancing, and sticky client prevention technology. It solves many of the challenges of traditional band steering approaches. It also has advantages over proprietary antenna beam forming approaches as well. With more and more uplink traffic, Adtran takes a better approach of matching clients with the best radio. I know this video is about the access point, but we should talk a moment about switch port speed and switch port budget. This has been coming up a lot lately, and it's important to address power budget when planning for new access points. Please make sure you review your network infrastructure and future plans before looking at any new access point. The latest 802.11 AC Wave 2 APs, for most brands to my knowledge, require PoE plus power running at about 30 watts. And you need to make sure your existing switches can support that. Switches installed just five years ago may not. Your switch needs to be able to support your total PoE power budget requirements and AP speed, which brings us to the interfaces this model includes. Here are the interfaces on board. One multi gigabit ethernet auto sensing port up to 2.5 gigabits per second. And it has one gigabit ethernet auto sensing port. Both the ports are backwards compatible down to 100 megabits per second. Some of the other 11 AC Wave 2 products on the market do not offer a multi gigabit ethernet port, but instead 
only two gigabit ethernet ports which require running two cables and allocating two switch ports. In addition, those that do offer it, do it at an expensive uplift. Here's the serial console port for low level troubleshooting. A USB 2.0 port, it's there, but for now there's really no use for it. Future uses might be like LTE backup or possibly storage. I should also mention that this AP has a limited lifetime warranty, which is great. If speed's not a high priority at the moment, but you want to future-proof your AP purchase for a few years, this AP will work just fine. Another option is to look at a standard 802.11ac Wave 1 AP from Adtran, which is their Blue Socket 2030. We have a video on that explains, which explains the features of that AP as well. Once you have your access points, you need to manage and control them, and Adtran does the best job in the industry to give you choices here. This device can be controlled via ProCloud Wi-Fi, which is AdTran's cloud-based management interface, which requires a monthly license fee, or through VMware at no cost. There's also an option for a low-cost appliance if that's what you prefer. To learn more about these options in more detail, check out our other videos. No matter which option you decide upon, all BlueSocket APs are a zero-touch deployment, meaning the APs automatically discover the host controller, download the latest firmware, and download the configuration. Another service that I should mention Antran offers is the Wi-Fi Help Desk. It's a supplementary service that provides first response support to help end users resolve Wi-Fi connectivity issues. And they'll escalate issues to your internal tech support team or Adtran tech support as appropriate. This is really perfect for hotel guests, for example, if they can't get on Wi-Fi. It eliminates calls to the hotel front desk, IT department, or internal tech support, thus freeing precious resources. Adtran is really a great and trusted brand. If you haven't checked out their Blue Socket line of APs, I strongly urge you to do so. They deliver a ton of enterprise grade features at a great price point. For full specs, or if you're interested in finding out more information, please feel free to reach out to us at Hummingbird Networks by visiting our site at hummingbirdnetworks.com or just give us a call. Thanks for watching.